latest edition of Tech on the Table, and I have Alex Gilliam, who's running Tiny WPA, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this space and how this work is meaningful to him in his uh, training as an architect. So, Alex, tell us about where we are and what goes on here. Uh, we are in a space we call 4017 Lancaster, which is the address of the place. We don't really have a name for it other than that because we have too much branding as it is. We have two organizations, uh, personally, that are home here, and then there's also an artist um, residency, which is supposed to be happening right where Ira is sitting. The next artist starts next week. Um, anyway, it is our community-focused workshop. Um, people would classically describe it as a maker space, but we don't describe it as that. Um, uh, you will notice on one hand we have a living room over here. We want people to come in and spend time here and stay and linger. And people generally come in uh, throughout the day and just hang out. We don't really care whether they want to build or not. Um, we then have some amazing uh, young people from the neighborhood, like Thomas over there. That's Thomas. Uh, who come in and tinker and build. Uh, we have Keon, who is over there in the corner on the computer at the moment, who's been helping out in space over Hello. the years. Um, we have Building Heroes, who are people ages 14 to 75 who've been trained, learned to make different products. Once they can make different products to a high level of quality, they can get paid to make those products anytime uh, there's, we get an order. Um, they help lead, they get paid to help lead and facilitate community-based projects all around the city. And then we also uh, now do contract fabrication work where we're trying to really change the conversation on who makes something and where it's made is equally as important as what that is and how well it's designed. And a simple example of that, uh, one of my favorite examples, it's so dead simple, is this door number. And uh, this is uh, an extra door number from a contract fab project that we did for a new multi-million dollar condominium downtown. In the span of a you know multi-million dollar building, thirty-five hundred dollars for door numbers is an afterthought. But this, a teenager got paid a really good, sixteen. Najee got paid a really good sum, uh, above living wage, to make ninety-five of these. And by the time you make ninety-five of them, you're really really good at it, right? Um, but it's just a simple way. Like I love this because this is an afterthought. But this is a way where even a door number. Najee has something that I never had on my portfolio and resume. You make 95 times again, you're really good at it. And we believe that skills are just as important as creativity and people being able to make things really well is just as empowering as a good idea. Fine. Um, so these are some of our building heroes. Um, these are some of the prototypes of products that we sell. Space is filled with prototypes. The joy of it is that almost everything in here has had at least seven people's hands on it in terms of the creation of that. Every Wednesday we have what's called Stop By and Build, which is a free open build from 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, we typically have between 15 and 45 through 75 year olds in the space downstairs, mostly in the workshop using power tools, building stuff. What's really awesome is the majority of those folks are from the neighborhood. A lot of them are grandmothers and their grandchildren. Um, and they're doing fixes to home etc., toys, making all sorts of stuff, and it just brings everlasting joy to us. We really appreciate having you with us today, Alex, for our latest edition of Tech on the Table, and I am just amazed by what I see is going on in this space. So thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you.